Anybody else wishing to speak? That's fine. Good. So I'm, must you say your name for the record, please? I'm Dodie Proctor, and I have not been to a zoning meeting in a long time, so I'm sure the laws have all changed since I have been. First of all, I can I just ask questions? Yes, ma'am. Where do you live? Where are you coming from? From Bolingbroke. So I live over in, in Monroe County and, and, and they're right at Macon. And why did you buy this piece of Because it was adjacent to the National Forest. Well, then why not just donate it to the National Forest? Well, I, number one, I'm not sure you can. I haven't actually ever heard of that being done. But number two, you get the same effect by, and the way most people usually do this is by putting it in the permanent conservation easement. Well, why would it be a concern of any of these land trusts? What's on it? If they're getting the land, they're not getting the land. They're getting the use of the land. Right. Well, then what would they care if they're just a recreation something? Or well, are they going to build something? No, what do they do with land? They simply make sure they're conservationists. So they make sure it's being used for conservation. That's their goal is to make sure you aren't doing anything, building, doing anything to it that would affect negatively wildlife, plant life, etc. Well, I, I just can't comprehend needing a manufacturing zone to be able to give land away. That makes no sense. And it makes no sense to me that you're telling me, well, I bought this piece of property at the end. This is, I want to donate it, but I don't want to donate it. I'm going to retain it. I want a tax break, but I'm not going to get this. But you're not making sense to me. It's not the simplest thing to go through. I can tell you that. But it's basically, you are giving up. You need, like I said early on, you have to pick what you're giving up on this land. So you're retaining all rights except. I'm giving up the rights to ever develop it. In the housing or anything? Housing, like anything. But the thing I'm giving up that I'm using as my reason to give it up is the mining. In other words, we'd say, because there's minerals here, the, the granite, giving that up so that we will not mine the land. But you need so a you zone. So you get a higher tax write off. It's, it's not, we, you do get a higher tax write off, but that's nothing. That you're actually doing the right thing by picking the highest and best use of the land. So in other words, what does your land have that is its highest and best use? There's only one thing it could be. And in some cases, it might be development if you're sitting near a larger area. In some cases, it might be mining. Some places, it might be that you're sitting on a river. It would be recreational property, lots that would be divided up. You look at your particular piece of land and decide, if I was a developer and I was looking at this, what would be the thing that stands out of this land? In this case, it's the granite. And so then you try to get the zone. But you don't know that it. the granite's even there? Well, you do because you can see from the, I don't know how much, but you can see from the, the map that it, it is on the strip of granite. So we already have a zoning map that shows that? The U.S. Geological Survey. Well, that's what I'm saying. Map. There's already a and, map and showing see, that there's granite. That's right. Yes, ma'am. The U.S. Geological Survey map. And then you also have a geologist who looks at the way the the outcroppings are, and he can give you a pretty good idea, which you can't say for sure, but a pretty good idea that there is indeed a lot of, of grant. Is that? Well, I vote against this because there's just too many questions. Okay. And what, what's, what's your address, Ms. Proctor? 7620 Clay Road. Okay. And my church happens to be England Baptist Church. Yes, ma'am. And I did uh, talk to Ashley. And he didn't agree. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I mean, I told him everything. I, it wouldn't change He said he didn't quite really understand what you were exactly trying to do. It was very confusing. I talked to him Sunday yes, night. But I wanted to make sure that, I, and I told him also that my goal is to not have anybody disturbed around. And I can assure you that. 